the opportunities in the life sciences industry are pretty complex and uh, difficult to understand. Uh, the industry is going a transformation similar to the automotive and the ICT industry. Um, and they have gone through a phenomenal change. Uh, we can now almost talk to anyone and speak to anyone free of cost. Uh, similarly, in the automotive industry, uh, cars without drivers is going to be reality soon. And that's the big change I foresee in the life sciences industry. Uh, and this is possible because of the multidisciplinary capabilities in chemistry, biology, and the computational power which now scientific and the marketing personnel have to take it to their customers. We see the opportunities in the life science industry from a care continuum point of view and also for the ability to maximize quality at the lowest cost. And in that realm, we see tremendous growth opportunities in therapeutics, diagnostics and research tools. Immuno-oncology therapy in general has the potential to turn cancer into a chronic disease or cure the cancer in some patients, whereas before it was always often a terminal diagnosis with not a very long survival rate for many of these patients. Patients who have responded to these therapies are living longer and some of them are still in remission and the remissions are lasting a very long time. We have a lot to learn in this area. It's very, very new, but when you understand which patients would be the ones most likely to benefit from these drugs, then whatever parameter has made that leap to knowledge will be the place the diagnostic companies will be best suited. And payers are going to be really keenly interested on understanding which diagnostics would benefit this type of patient because with these therapeutics being so incredibly expensive, they want to make sure the right patients are getting the right drugs at the right time. If their cancer is cured, they can resume their normal quality of life and live as if the cancer never happened. But if it's a cancer that is, goes into remission and the remission times can be longer, that patient has more time with their family, with their children, with their grandparents. I mean, they have more time to live a very full and productive life. The life sciences industry is characterized by immense amount of consolidation and convergence. Um, this has heated up the mergers and acquisitions market for several in vitro diagnostic companies that are looking to expand their product portfolio and gain access into more disruptive platforms. So this has opened up a lot of market opportunities for um, healthcare IT companies that are looking to offer point of care testing connectivity solutions and not just that but also microfluidics or lab on ship uh, companies uh, that are offering cheaper disposables also have an immense amount of opportunity in the space. Carson Solomon research confirms that there are two major areas that most of the diagnostic companies such as Biret or Roche are looking at and those two areas are molecular point-of-care testing and liquid biopsies.